may be the biological father of her son. Well, speaking with uh, Erastus Asaridonko on Love in the Morning uh, on Love 99.5 FM in Kumasi, Dr. Abbas said, although it's not been established, his silence is likely to negatively affect the political fortunes of the party. Dr. Abbas joins me via Zoom right now so we can uh, speak more to this issue. Many thanks for your time, uh, Dr. Abbas. Do we have Dr. Abbas on the line? Okay, we'll get him later. But you can hear him when he spoke earlier on Love FM. You see, I have said this, and we must take it serious when it comes to politics, is the people who define the issues. Mm. Or somebody brings up the issues and the people take it up. But you can't put it or push it under the carpet and say it's irrelevant. Once the issue comes up, whether there is truth or not, how do we know that there is truth or not unless we discuss it? And discuss it and that is so for me the quality of the discussion is the uh, important thing here mm. how we discuss it well so that at the end of the day we realize that oh this is even a non-issue it's not true or how we discuss it well so that we realize that yes there's a substance to it because it has come up so would you advise and, him to um raise well the definitely if he's pointing at you mm. If it is clearly pointing at you, then I will advise that you address it. Other than that, it will affect you. Because it's an issue for the people. Yeah. And, and in politics, the perception is almost the truth. Because nobody goes to what you hear, what I hear, what the person hears, it's the person's truth. So if it is not discussed well for the reality, the truth itself, like they say, the truth shall set you what? Free. It's only the truth, but if not, then you, it's unfortunate for you. The perception, the smoke is what is going to be around you, and you carry it everywhere, and it will definitely affect so you. So you will advise the presidential candidate of the NDC to uh, really speak Yeah, to speak address to it. it. Once it is an issue, to address it, because it's about politics. And he, politics is about numbers. Mm. And when this thing is affecting you, and you know it's aff affecting you, then address it. And addressing it is the only thing that will set you free. Perhaps it will die out on it. Actually, Dr. Abbas joins me uh, on the phone for more on this. Thank you for your time, uh, Doc. Now, these are issues of morality. They don't reflect his style of governance. So why must he be compelled to address this issue? Uh, thank you very much, friend. Uh, good afternoon to you and to your listeners. Um, I don't think he must be compelled. I mean, the compulsion must rather come from he himself and the ambitions that he's aspiring for. Uh, in this particular case, we are talking about the public. I mean, it's in like the entire citizenry because you are aspiring to serve them in a public position, which is a very reputable position. And over there, uh, besides your core way, how you conduct yourself also matters in the eyes of the people. Uh, that is even not to mention the code itself, whether written or unwritten, that is expected of public offices. So when there is something that actually has the potential to affect this aspect of your work, then uh, you will have to address it because if you don't address it, then it is going to interfere with your way, and that interference wouldn't be healthy for you. Let's talk you. about that interference you talk about. Is the silence on the matter in any way likely to affect his chances going into the elections? Because these are not what some will say are bread and butter issues. So, how is this going to affect his campaign, if at all? It is not directly bread and butter. But as we say, first things first, you speak first to get the mandate of the people. That enables you to use whatever capacity you have to address their butter uh, bread affairs. So you haven't gotten there yet. But this is very crucial because this is what will get you there. And when it comes to over here, as I said earlier, what really helps or can or make you have to do with perceptions and the perceptions and how we address these things in a manner that will be favorable to you getting the mandate. So that is where we answer. We should separate the two. This one comes first before the butter and bread matter because you take to get this position. Before
before that one. So over here, if we don't get through, or if you are not able to deal with things very well here, then you don't even get to get to where you are, get the opportunity to dress butter and bread affairs. All right. Uh, that's uh, Dr. Abbas. He's with the uh, Political Science Department of the King USD in Kumasi. And speaking of the former president, as you know, he is in the Volta region where he is uh, touring uh, parts of that region. Ivy Setaji is our correspondent there. She joins us on the line with the very latest. Ivy, uh, where is Mr. Mahama now and uh, what's he been saying? <laughs> Well, currently uh, he's on his way to uh, from Becky. Uh, he's been telling the people that it is necessary for 